All right, welcome to the line. And let's quickly begin our story. And our first story tonight brings to life the Yoruba proverb. And it says, what you're looking for in Sokoto is in your Shokoto trouser. Now, this reflects the idea that what we seek outside may actually be within our reach. Now, despite Nigeria boasting some of the most exotic relaxation sports in Africa, many of us spent thousands of, you know, in foreign exchange seeking pleasure from abroad. Now, have you explored the captivating ambience of the Mambila and Gashakagumti National Parks yet? I think you need to join Abdullahi uh, Mohammed on this enlightening journey. Gashaka Gumta National Park, a bounty of fauna and flora spanning more than 6,000 kilometers, flowing rivers and gardens, looking up to the description of some parts of heaven. This is the only national park that has about four ecological system within Nigeria and even in West Africa. So this national park have about 480 different animal species that are moving around, which people need to, uh, to see. Harsh days, sunny, rainy it could be in the wilderness of the Gashak Gunti National Park, which is said to be like twice the size of Lagos. Imagine coming back here in another peaceful environment to relax in Gashaka village. The aim of this project is to create awareness and also to promote tourism and also to promote our rich culture and heritage of, of Nigeria, precisely for the Gashaka Gumti and also for the Mambila Plateau. These wonders of nature may have fallen short of its value in the eyes of its dwellers and managers, but not for the adventurous like Nick and his father. They have decided to drive across Africa from Canada and Nigeria tops their expectations. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And the Nigerians are by far the friendliest. <laughs> so We're over halfway there now. We've done about 20,000 kilometers and we're expecting probably six, 7,000 more. Xavi, on the other hand, rides his bike from Madagascar heading to France and pedaling across the geography of Nigeria opens a new vista in his life. It's like awesome landscape. Like the mountains in Kanyaka is beautiful and people are very welcoming. So yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna enjoy Nigeria. Africa and indeed Nigeria has remained attractive, but the hands that loses the rope which tightens the loose ends are its people. It's highly, you know, unfortunate that um, Nigerians you know, as, as a people, uh, we are not doing ourselves any good. Second missing link is the visa issue. Um, a lot of tourists go through, shall I say, hell to get Nigerian visa to come here. Our embassies are not friendly at all. So, the ball is in your court. Say good about your country or keep quiet. Let the town criers sell the golden eggs. <laughs> I hear you, Mohammed. I hear you. Fantastic. That's my next de destination during my annual leave. You bet it. But we're not done yet. Now, 